Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Mizamo fields to create any 3D avatars, any 3D human avatars, and rig it, auto rig it in Mizamo and export it as FBX file. SBX file is a type of the universal 3D model files which available and compatible to all the 3D modeling software, 3D animation software, and also 3D game developing software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do all this. First, you can scroll down, go to my dis the video description and get the Mizamo fields from Steam. So from the Steam, I already give you a link. You just need to go and click it. And at the same time, you get it for free from the Steam. This is totally free. Okay. This is for free. All right. And also, after you install the Steam, you get a Steam account, you, you will be able to get the, the Misamo, Misamo Fuse 1.3 for free. And now, launch from your Steam. This is the Steam. Of course, this is not a game. It is like a character creator, you can create any 3D avatar here. Click launch from the Steam. After you install it, this is Fuse version 1.3. So now, we are going to do it step by step. I'm going to show you the full tutorial on how to make it be a full FBX with skeleton. So next, this one you click continue. Now, you already opened this, the Mizamo fields. And what you are going to do first, you choose a head, choose your desired head. Uh, I will just choose one. Double click and wait for a while, it is loading. Alright, next step is for you to choose a body. The body also already chosen, then choose a fit, uh, choose a leg. Alright, next is to choose a hand. There are different types of the hands. You can choose the hand that you want. And next. Since you are still here. Then you can customize everything. Here. Here all about your body, your arms, your face. Your arms, you can modify your arms. For example, this is the muscle parts you can modify it. you really ha have a lot of a lot of variables you can change the face as well there are so many face face move here you can make any of the facial expression here any facial expression that you want and also the head more the, the eyebrow so you can adjust anything that you want, create your character here. And next one is a clothing. So now I give this girl a cloth. For example, I give, give this. All right, next. I want to give a bottom. A zin, cut off zin. And now I want to give her a shoes. And next, I want to give her a hair. There are so many hairstyles here. You can choose one of your favorite hairstyles if you want to create an avatar. And next, what you are going to do? You can give a mask as well. It is up to you what type of the mask you want. Maybe you feel that the COVID-19, you need to create an animation with a mask or you can just just delete it uh, if you don't want. Press delete. So next, if this is a man, then you can give a bird, you can give a different hair. Alright, the glove, 
if you want to give her a glove, it is okay. It is up to you to give her a, a glove. If you don't want, you can just click and press delete button. That's all. So now I assume that uh, as a demo, I assume that this is a complete model. And, and now I want to export it as OBJ first. This is the first step, export it as OBJ. File export, export model as OBJ first. And make sure at this stage, you have to take pet texture and UVs. And now you can click OK. As demo, I will save on my desktop. And this is girl demo 01. This is the file name. I save it. It will become an OBJ file here. And at the same time, all the materials are completed. Now, just wait for a while. You can see it is exporting all the materials as well that generated at here. And now, which one is the OBJ file? It should be this one. Okay. This is the OBJ file, and maybe it won't display properly at the 3D viewer in the default window stand. So, next step, we are going to convert the FBX, uh, sorry, we are going to convert this OBJ file into FBX file with embedded texture. So, you scroll down, go to the video description, and click on this link Get 3D Exchange Pipeline, Control C to copy, and once you get this this link wait for a while once it display on this page you have to click the triple line here see the triple line is at the corner you click the triple line and here you should be able to find under the 3d animation the 3d exchange is here get the 3d exchange 7 3d animation pipeline first and install the 3d exchange in your computer as the second step so now i already installed the 3d exchange 3d exchange 3d exchange 7.8 pipeline now i already have this software so the next step i will import the obj file i double click the girl demo 01 folder and the obj file is inside i will just import in and close. Now you can see this avatar is complete with full texture and I checked the size of human. It is exactly the, the size of the human, the height of the human. And from the 3D exchange you need to convert one time to be the FBX file first. Click export the FBX file. At here, export the FBX file as demo. I will export on my desktop. And this is the destination. If you want to choose again, you can click the desktop or whatever location. And the file name I will maintain as girl demo 01. And here, the target the target preset choose the Maya Win 32 bit optimize. And at the same time, make sure the embed texture already ticked. And then, now click OK to export it. Alright, now I can close the 3D Exchange 7 already. Now you can see uh, the, the FBX file is on my desktop. If I double click and check it, it will open with my 3D viewer, but it's, it is not guaranteed that it will display properly. Maybe it won't display, but it doesn't matter. I check against the 3D Exchange. What type of the mistake I had made if it never show anything. So if this happened to you, what is the solution? I click OK. So nothing is here, so this is a failure. I delete it again. I know one of the settings that it is compulsory to take. So again, open a 3D exchange to import the, the OBJ first. So the reason that just now the export is a failure because when I export it as FBX file, and at the same time I choose the Maya 32-bit optimized, everything is correct, but here you must select all. Because of my previous export, I, 
I select only so now this time because of I want everything about this character every meshes so here must take all and then here is at the same location I click OK and click OK successful so now at this time I double check again this FBX file with the 3D viewer see whether is there something is there a model there just have a look now yes this is a complete FBX file with 3D model here so next step we are going to read this FBX file we are going to go to mizamo.com you can scroll down go to my video description go to the bottom of the video check the video description click the Mizamo link the Mizamo is a free online app here so now I'm going to Mizamo in the Mizamo it allow you to auto read any of the 3d avatar any of the 3d human avatar so this time you need to log in of course but login is just a very easy process you can just to create a new account or just log in by using your email or sometimes it allow you to use use the Google account so now I try again sometimes it will appear that it is able to log in with your Google account so now log in yes now you can see the second time I go in I can continue with Google so use my Google account sign in now I can close this if it, it never show you the Google account you can just use your email address to log in next just have a look in the Mizamo you are going to, to import the FBX file into the Mizamo to auto rig it click upload character wait until it is ready first this is the previous avatar that I'm using so now I click upload character I drag in the girl demo 01.fbx drag in and drop it here now it is uploading this avatar you have to wait for a while Now, processing upload. You already finished uploaded this 3D avatar. Just wait for a while, it is processing. It's under the auto rigor. Next step, now you already make sure it she's in a T pose or whatever A pose, as long as it is symmetry. And if, if it is not, then you can rotate it. You must make sure the face is face to the front and you click next and now this is the auto regal you must be careful here the chin you must put at the chin the wrist the elbow the knee the last one is the groin and now the skeleton this is a standard skeleton 65 use symmetry and now I click next it is auto rigging the whole avatar just need to wait for a while until it finish our auto rigger algorithm can take up to two minutes so sometimes you need to be patient to wait for two minutes until finish.
Now, auto rigger process already finished. You can see now the whole avatar is animated, is an animation ready it's with the full skeletons, include the fingers. Click next and click next again. Wait for a while until it's uploaded to here. Now, at this time, you can click download already. Make sure it is at the tipos binary and you click download. Seven point three MB you have to wait for a few seconds until it finish download and let us have a check. This is a full three D avatar with complete skeleton, complete human skeleton. Of course, for using the Mizamo, if you go through this process, you have to send it to Mizamo to auto rig it first. Or if you have the auto Autodesk Maya, you also can use the Autodesk Maya to rig it as well. Now, Girl Demo 01 FBX file is already in my download folder. I will click Show in folder. This is my Google Chrome. All right, this one, the Girl Demo 01. I have to rename it immediately because this one is fully rigged. All right, as demo, I will just move this file to my desktop. And now I can close my Mizamo at the same time. In my fields, I can save this project file as a backup. So I save as. Save as a fields file next time you still can open this project file by using the fields. This is just a backup. Girl demo 01. Wait, it's on my desktop. The file name girl demo 01. Make sure you name another word here project file so that you will know that that is your project file next time if you want to open this project file again to continue your project you can file open and it is on, on your desktop just double click this fields file remember the file extension is fields okay, so now I close this all right the girl demo 01 is already completed and fully rigged now this fbx file is already ready to be imported to any of the 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing software to make it become an avatar in your animation project or game project. Now let's have a try. Now I'm going to use the Autodesk Maya. Maya is a standard 3D modeling animation software etc. So this is just have a try at Autodesk Maya. To test whether this avatar is ready or not, just have a test. So now this is Maya. I'm going to re I'm going to drag this in. This is the FBX file with full skeleton. I drag in, drag to the center, and I release my mouse after I drag in. Let's have a look. This model is complete and let's check the texture. Okay, all the texture are completed and also you can check the wireframe. All right. The skeleton also completed already and it is allow you to create animation in any 3D modeling software. And we also can check with the 3D exchange. The 3D exchange for iClone. If you drag in the full rig skeleton, 
the full full rate FBX model with skeleton I click OK and at this time I click no and let's have a check the whole avatar check the skeleton I convert to non-standard and let's have a look it is really a human avatar with human skeleton with human Maya I uh, the Maya human IK I click active and convert now it is really an avatar and it is also be ready to perform any motion and animation in iPron 7 so now that's all for today about how to use the fields how to use the Nizamo fields to create any human avatar any human 3d characters and avatars and export it as a full skeleton full rate FBX file for any 3d modeling 3d animation and game developing software that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation 3d modeling and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate all the notifications so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video happy animation and game developing see you